Hi, I'm Ann Borgad, the Ward 5 City Councilor. You can reach me at 774-297-4939 or at A Borgad, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S. C-O-B stands for City of Brockton. Today is Friday, March 8th, 2019, and unfortunately, we have a whole lot of snow on the ground. It's still a little cool out there, but fortunately, the sun is out, and we're getting ready to change the clocks this weekend and see, how would I say it, a lighter evening sky. I am talking to you about a whole lot today because a whole lot's going on. I, again, I can be reached at 774-297-4939. Okay, let's begin here with the fact that now Comcast is aware of the new proposals with their new contract with Brockton, our city. Should you have any questions about trying to get discounts, uh, they're looking for proof of age, head of household, uh, receiving uh, certain benefits like Medicaid or Social Security, um, some people were 65 or older, and uh, they're looking at different uh, discounts. Uh, one of them is like $2 off a month, and another one is a 10%. And uh, you can call them at 800-266-2278, 800-266-2278. They're just getting used to this. Getting used to giving Broughton the discount we deserve for individuals that qualify, and that's many of you seniors out there, and it's well deserved, okay? As you can see, I'm a little decked out here for St. Patrick's Day. To me, that means spring. And unfortunately, we're still under a snow emergency, yes, and that means no cars on the streets if it's snowing. We need to get the plows through there. I know several of you have had tremendous problems in the past few weeks with the snows that we've been getting late in the season, mind you, but nonetheless here. So again, uh, we will be having Captain John Hallisey in front of City Council, if all goes as planned, I should say, excuse me, Finance Committee, on Monday, March 18th at 7 p.m. So feel free to contact me with other frustrations. I know Sherman Street has had some terrible problems. I know that Addison Ave and Sprague Ave have had some terrible problems too. And those only a few I can name look off. And we're trying to work to get this addressed. There's many, many situations in a city that's old like ours that was built, how would I say, with not a whole lot of planning in the 50s and with a great deal of houses coming in and not completely allowing for all the space that's necessary to have people getting down the street and especially emergency vehicles. I feel for you that are going through these tremendous inconveniences, so this is why we are going to have the head of the Traffic Commission, Captain John Hallisey, to uh, discuss the situations and uh, the residents' frustrations. So feel free to email me at aboregard at cobma.us, send pictures, fine. We'll be able to have all these lists of the different situations that have gone on. Again, I always encourage you to attend various meetings in the city. There's plenty of spots left on the boards and commissions of this city. So if you have any interest at all, I am not the, de the primary deciding factor, it's the mayor's office. But feel free, if you have a resume, letter of interest, and have a concern, a passion, please let us know because this is a way that you can be part of running your city. And remember, you own this. It belongs to you. Also, I want to point out that um, the census was sent to your homes. And please fill it out. Knowing how many people we have in this city is very important because it helps us to get more funding for our community. And believe me, we want more funding to fix our roads and certainly to help our schools. Okay, also, the tax service continues to be available, free tax preparation, on Monday evenings, and that'll be for the next one, let's see, and if this will end on um, the, I'm sorry, on the 8th of April. 
So, uh, excuse me, yeah, on the 8th of April, um, that will be, now remember, they're at Brockton Main Library from 4 to 7 p.m., okay? And that, and they're also at Massasoit Community College from 10 to 1, okay? We really encourage people that need assistance in this area with household incomes, especially that are not reaching 55,000, seniors, individuals, um, single parent households, they are there to assist you. It does not cost you anything. So please t consider taking advantage of this. They've been wonderful and have helped many, many other people in the past, okay? And don't forget now, we're here to help you. And sometimes we need to connect up with all of you. I want to mention something because even though I've been saying all this about the snow, believe it or not, tick season is year around. I don't know all about it, but the Council on Aging is hosting an expert on March 18th, Monday, March 18th at 1.30 p.m. at the Mary Kennedy, I'm sorry, Mary Cruz Kennedy Senior Center, which is at the intersection of Main Street and Father Kenny Way. And it's really important because unfortunately there are more diseases coming with these ticks. And we do have deer. Uh, many of us see them in our neighborhoods. And we want everyone to be safe. And unfortunately, um, getting bit by a tick uh, that is you know, part of this Lyme disease and other diseases they carry can be very detrimental to your health. So the more you know, the better off you are. Okay. Also, we've been covering the foreclosure concerns. And fortunately, we've seen them at a minimum. I know that there's going to be an auction on Monday for a foreclosed home in Ward 5. And uh, that's, I believe, on Crestfield Drive. And unfortunately, we hate to see this happen. But we also want to make sure that people are made aware of what's going on in their communities. If you see something, uh, how would I say it, suspicious, please feel free to contact us at 774-297-4939. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I go through my messages and contact people at different times for different things. And, you know, if you can let me know when it's a great time to call you, you can call me pretty much any time after 7 in the morning. After 9 o'clock at night, I'm kind of going downhill. But um, anyway, if it's really serious, do not hesitate to call me at any other time. Okay, but it's important for you to tell me what it is. I had someone call me and say that they had something going on, but they never told me what it was. So that again, we're trying to help you. And there's uh, at-large city councils that want to help you too, so don't hesitate to contact them. Okay, we have some different traffic stuff going on. And unfortunately, one of our terrible intersections is Plymouth and Center. So I'm hoping to have a ward meeting soon to address some issues and different um, situations that I've been hearing from Old Colony Planning Council and from their traffic study. So again, I will be letting you know about that in the very near future. And I know that everyone wants to talk about getting their streets paved. So I've been working with, I'm bothering, I should say, our state senators and our state reps. And uh, this is looking for more infrastructure funding. And it's a House Bill 426 and a Senate Bill 861. Feel free to call our senator at 617 722-1200, Senator Brady, and ask his office to support this infrastructure bank bill. Because I can tell you right now that we want to see the streets paved and we're working very hard in all sorts of ways to get more funding to get them done. You deserve to have safe, passable streets and we're working on that. Again, we always encourage you to come to various meetings, whether it's finance committee and city council, or again, if it's a board or commission that you have concerns with. We're trying to do our best, and there's only so many hours in the day, but I don't want to be part of excuses. I want to be part of solutions. And I want to end with how you can be part of a solution of what's been a detriment to this city for a long time, and that's the CSX railroad site that has not been used for decades. And on Wednesday, March 13th, the doors open at 6 p.m. Please join us and find out what some proposals are. Now, none of this is etched in stone. You can ask questions, add your input. This is very especially important for people that live on Elliott Street, 
and Core Street in between Center, I'm sorry, in between Main Street, uh, Montello Street and, Nor and Cary Street, and North Cary Street, because Court Street and the side streets, meaning North Manchester, Tabor Ave, Parker, for example, could be very much affected by the, the proposals they have. Some are good, some are great, and some uh, are all in between. But please join us. This free event is open to the public to educate you and to allow you to give your input. Again, I'm Ian Beauregard. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy spring. And I'll see you soon and be talking about award meeting in the very upcoming future. Should you have any questions, 774-297-4939 or aborgard at cobma.us. And join us for that CSX open house on Wednesday, March 13th, 6 to 8 p.m. Don't forget to change your clocks and everybody be safe out there. Thank you.